Well, guys, when this government and its ministers are not ploughing their beef bayonet into married taxpayer-funded aides or giving her brother NHS contracts, they're apparently losing 600 million tests if the media are to be believed. This was actually a video I planned to make yesterday, but after the Hancock story broke, I wanted to see how that played out, as it's sort of related to this because it's all part of the same bullshit. And actually, without that Hancock story yesterday, this one gets more media traction than it did, I would bet. Which is why I've left it for today, so it doesn't get caught up in all that bollocks. At the end of the day, the levels of corruption and incompetence we've seen over the past year are personified not only by Hancock's little video clip, but also by this story, which claims the government's test and trace scheme has lost nearly 600 million tests. Obviously, an eye-watering number of tests, which in itself begs a few questions at why and how much this is gonna cost us, though they're not the point of this video today. The point of this video is how much bullshit this article we have here is actually pumping out. The government or track and trace didn't lose 600 million tests as the title suggests. If you ask me, it's a pure bit of spin as the whole story appears to be aimed at making tests compulsory, likely with the threat of fines or something like that. I mean, based on what the article states, it appears these tests have literally been thrown in the bin, either before taking them or after, with the information not reported to track and trace wankers if people did even bother to take them. Now in the article, the National Audit Office comes out stating this £39 billion track and trace does not deliver value for money, which is like saying water is fucking wet at this point. The country knows beyond all doubt that it's a complete waste of money and it's pointless, but that doesn't really matter. There is money to be made and friends to be paid, so that's what's gonna happen. But something the National Audit Office states here is what we really need to talk about first. It says the NOA also criticised Matt Hancock's decision to absorb its functions into a new UK health security agency, saying there was a risk that the restructuring will divert NHS test and trace attention away from efforts to contain the spread of the virus. It has given the government until October to sort out the problems including how it will best support citizens to come forward for tests and comply with self-isolation requirements. So much like Labour demanding more money for people to just sit at home. What a surprise that last bit ain't, but the first part is the bit we really want. They said there is a risk the restructuring of test and trace will divert it away from efforts to contain the spread of the virus, which should sound alarm bells ringing to anyone. £39 billion has been wasted on this under the guise of stopping a virus. This sounds more like the plans are to use test and trace to track and trace people, you know the general public, all of the time. This is obviously yet another slippery slope we have all seen coming for I don't even know how long now. It's like vaccine passports, it starts with travel and before you know it you have to show papers please just to take a piss. Obviously, this health security agency is rather concerned in any way without it getting test and trace and then using it for something other than what they claim it was actually designed for. We must remember the public paid for this shit, so I'm sure they won't want it tracking them generally literally for no good reason. Of course, Labour jumped on this story and complained about money and what is a surprise to absolutely fucking no one these days, but they also called for ministers to make sure all results of these tests and trace are registered. In other words, they want the government to pass laws forcing people to take and report these tests. They said if lateral flow tests are going to play their part in helping society reopen, ministers need to make sure results are registered. It's astounding that 550 million tests have gone missing. Which, of course, no, they didn't go missing. They likely went in the bin. Stop sending them to people who don't need them and then they won't get wasted. But obviously, the contract is paid for with more on the way, so I guess they don't mind sending them out. It's not their money after all, as Rishi Sunak admitted last week. I ask again, who pays? So when you say the, uh, the, the alternative is the household or the government, the government's money is people's money. And that's my point when I say, ultimately, we all pay. The government doesn't have any yeah. separate money of its own. They go on, the report found that only a small proportion of the COVID tests distributed have been registered as use. Test and Trace had forecast that between March and May 2021, 600 million lateral flow tests would have been used in the UK. But up to 26th of May, just 96 million, 14% of the 691 million tests distributed in England had been registered. NHS Test and Trace doesn't know whether the tests that have not been registered have even been used or not. Which I have to say, my money is on them being thrown in the bin in rather large numbers, I don't know about you guys. Now one thing this says to me is compliance with their bullshit could be much lower than they have been making out. I wonder what else they have claimed has massive compliance when really people have not bothered listening to these demented fuckpigs and their bullshit. In this case it certainly seems like it with these tests. 
Now the National Audit Office head, Gareth Davies, joined Labour in demanding the government make people comply with their lunatic testing agendas. He said one pressing challenge needs to be tackled if it is to achieve its objectives and deliver value for taxpayers, including understanding how many lateral flow devices are actually being used and increasing public compliance with testing and self-isolation which obviously sounds to me like he wants the government to send the Stasi Rand to test and lock anyone up that they want tested. What a fucking lunatic this guy is, but I guess he fits right in with the other lunatics pushing this shit alongside him. But like I said, they have not lost 600 million tests at all. The public have probably thrown them away because for the most part they've had enough of this bullshit or literally never took part in it in the first place. Either way, if that Hancock story wouldn't have come out, you would have bet your bollocks to a barn dance the media would have been roasting the government over this one. Hancock has literally saved Dido's ass here. Now before I go guys, remember to check out my website that's linked down below along with my Odyssey and Bitshoot channel. You know, in case YouTube shit can me into the wrong thing gulag, which let's be honest is always possible these days.